Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome to our brand new mini-series on Chinese parents as we're getting ready for Chinese New Year, which is exactly a week away from today. And this is a special mini-series called the Year of Cow Cow. And this is because this is the Year of the Bull. And also because our last generation ended with Cao Cao, who is mispronounced as Cow Cow in Dynasty Warriors. So we're kind of playing a little bit of words there. And uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game or has been a while since you have seen one of these, I'm going to be playing this one in full detail. We're not going to cut anything out in this generation. And then beyond this generation, in this mini series, I plan to do about three generations of runs. So the second one, the third one, we'll go back to our old format and we'll cut those down to about three episodes. This one will probably take about six or seven, uh, with each one taking about 30 minutes or so. So let's first talk about our setup. We're going to be playing a generation where we need to make a lot of money because we are still very interested in the Lady War achievement where we have to play as a boy and we have to uh, successfully date all the girls to 20%. But one of the girls, Ina, wouldn't even talk to us unless our parents make more than a hundred per turn. And if you remember, we ended our last generation as Cao Cao, where he went the ordinary pass, and he became the highest tier, the HR specialist. But this only pays 50 per turn. So we don't have the 100 that's needed. So if we get a son this generation, we cannot go for the Lady War achievement. So we can give up on that. So if we do get a son, what we will do is we'll name him Strunk, as in, you know, the GameStop craze with the short squeeze in the financial market. And we're going to have him tackle one of the old uh, careers that we've done in the past, but we never mastered. And that's the business career. As you can see, we ended up as the God Investment before, but we haven't unlocked the final one. And if the God Investment can make 100, I'm sure the top tier business career is, you know, going to the moon. And then from that point, if we have another kid and happens to be another son, we'll be ready to tackle the achievement for Lady War because we'll be making over 100. If this generation is a girl, we'll name her Niu Niu. And we'll also revisit one of our old careers that we didn't get to finish. And that's the singer career, which is exclusive for girls. And we got to indie musician, but we fell short. And I'm pretty sure this, you know, superstar singer, whatever this is called, is going to make more than 100 or at least 100 so that we can, you know, pass on to our son. So basically, we're trying to set up for Lady War Run. And uh, depending on who we get and what gender we get, we have different names ready. And obviously, we want to end this series with Cow Cow and Cow Cow would be perhaps the son that will carry us through with the Lady Wu'er achievement. So let's hop into game, load up our trivia family. Generation 21, our current trait completion is 88.03. Our passive stat gain, this is how much of the stats we gain each turn, is huge. So basically, we're guaranteed to go to good school even if we don't get any of these traits, you know, IQ, EQ, Constitution, Imagination, Memory. We're set. We just need to try to focus on the traits, focus on the career, focus on the achievement. So let's see who we get. And we get a girl. Okay, that's actually perfect because then we can maybe end this series in two generations if we nail all the achievements. Who knows? So time flies, the former child has grown up, we're talking about Cao Cao here, and has become a parent of their own. Now Cao is quite handsome. Who'd have thought that I, Cao Cao, am old enough to have a kid of my own now? I'll be sure to give my child a good education and not to repeat the mistakes of my parents. We have a generic mom, because our run with Lady War failed and we only had like 26%, so there goes that. Whenever we go back to your family home, I can't help but think you're exactly like your father. What are you looking at? Comment, change the diaper. And we get to start with our game here. Now for those of you who have never played Chinese Parents, the gameplay functions in turns. And there's 40 
eight turns total until Gaokao, or the college entrance exam. And each term, we play something called the mind map, which is this puzzle game. Sometimes you have something else. Sometimes you have a quiz or a test, which is a different type of puzzle. But here, each of these symbol color coded representing one of the stats. So you unlock them by clicking on them and they explode the ones around them. And the goal here really for us is to um, find a door. Uh, there's going to be little doors which you can go to the next page of the mind map. There are levels here. And uh, every four levels or multiple of four levels, uh, the doors are not available on the map. So you can't find, there is no door even if you unlock every single one. And then each click costs us 10 action. Unless we're clicking on like a special one. Right now we're just clicking on the regular ones. And there's our last click. So maybe a door? No doors. And as you can see, we got points. Very low points for each click right now. So it's not really worth if you look at the passive gains we're having at end turn. We used up all our actions. We can't do anything else. This is knowledge. It's represented by a light bulb. Um, we can grab these off of these mind maps as well once we get to later stages. Right now, they're not really available. You spend knowledge to learn skills and you practice those skills at the end turn when you make a schedule for yourself and you have, you know, goals in the game listed here. Right now, we have nothing because we're just a, you know, nameless one year old still in the hospital. Um, we have some close friends already. Uh, these are randomized based on kind of what we will set ourselves career-wise and our parents, what their personality is and what likely will be passed on to us. There's a mental state. Uh, basically, there will be like a satisfaction for you to balance out. And if you can't balance it out, you're gonna have mind shadow accumulated. If it hits 100, you actually lose the game. You snap. And uh, we don't have any issues with that. And if you want to check out how great our family is, just look at the universities. Peking, Tsinghua, Peking, 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 Tsinghua. And for those of you who are like a Western audience, this is like seeing Harvard, MIT, Harvard, 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 MIT. That's the feel of our family so far. Like we have mastered taking the test uh, because of the passive gains. So nothing else to do this turn. Let's hit the schedule and here we can tell our kids to try something that they know, right? This is the schedule of what you do during this turn. And we have the choice between crawling around or clapping to music, and they give you different stats. Now, the stat that I'm most interested in as someone who is trying to go for a singer career is actually charm. We need to be very charming. You can see that there's no passive gain on charm. This is something that we have to gain from scheduling. So between the two of these, Clap to music give us some action back. Um, there's going to be a passive action back anyways. So I think, I think we take two of them and then do mostly crawl and then we go and you can see a schedule what happens. We're practicing crawling, getting those points, same thing. And aside from what you see from what you schedule, there's a couple of random events like this one. Uh, our mother is kind of suffering through depression, and uh, if you can't read Chinese, you will try and buy the vases will try and I mean, she's very testy right now. She's telling dad you're wearing the outside socks on the bed. She's just, you know, not feeling it, and dad's getting pestered. And we're getting some points for that, which is weird. We're getting IQ and constitution points for mom being very naggy. And dad wants us to say, Daddy? And we gave in and we said it. And dad likes that. And we said it with a little bit of accent. It says, Jiao Baba. Baba. That's what the, it's close enough. Uh, get a little IQ and a little imagination point here. And the last random event. Not all random events are good, but we did get some action back, as you can see here. In laws arguing. Mom and grandma arguing as to whether you should be using diapers or paper diapers. Is this really that big of a deal? Yeah. I mean, probably mom wants us to use paper diapers so we can throw them away. Grandma's like, use regular diapers and wash them. And mom's like, no, I haven't had this situation. Or even if I had, how would I remember? But we lost points. Clap to music. Yes, the art is very meme -y. It's not state of the art artwork, but uh, it has its own charm. And we got some 
random action back. This is very crucial because you see we're at 85 right now, but when we end the schedule, you always get a 50 point boost. So that helps. And the random one keeps us afloat. It's not max, but something. Uh, we learned a few new skills, uh, as in they're available. So what that means, uh, we also have a new expectation. So now we, we know how the game works. I'll explain it better than that. Uh, we can name our kid. She's going to be called Niu Niu, which means cow cow in Chinese. And here's where we can pick up those new available skills. We pay knowledge points to unlock them. There's a minimum knowledge cost for each one. And if we don't have the required stat norm, right? What stats requires? This one's like an EQ stat. If our EQ is not 400 yet, it's going to cost more instead of the minimum. But you see that if we just wait a turn, we're going to hit 400 no problem. And we can buy this for a lot cheaper. And that's what we have to do. We have to buy them at efficient levels. Um, because we are in a later generation, we can afford to do that. If you're just starting out the game, you just pick up the game, you're not going to have, you know, 200, 300 growth a turn. You're going to have to pay up extra. Now, first thing here, Hu Kober, or basically our uh, ID papers, um, birth certificate. We have to give her a name and she's going to be called Niu Niu. And uh, we can pick these up now because they're not going to go any lower. A new skill. We got some charm points for that. Hey, stop looking at your phone. I'm cooking and can't leave the kitchen. Watch our child. What if she falls? Our child knows how to walk. You don't need to worry. Hold on to her. Watch the table edge. I don't think we're tall enough to walk or hit the table edge, but who knows? Learn to speak. More charm. My baby girl finally called me mommy. She's definitely going to like me best. Don't get overconfident. Baby girl, say daddy. Say daddy. All right. We got some goals. Now, goals are basically, uh, we don't see what the requirement is because we already hit it. Sometimes it's like, get a certain number of charm, get a certain number of memory. Uh, in this case, uh, we already hit it because of our high passive gains. You see how many turns you have left. For most of the goals, when you complete it, you get rewarded stats and action. So you don't always want to click it right away. You might want to click it when your action is low and you get a little bit back. The first one, I believe, don't give any action at all. But just in case, we're going to jump into the mind map first and it's introducing the knowledge fragment. This is the type of tiles we want to click. Because, as you can see, the stat boost, each one being worth two points, pointless. This is worth 25 knowledge. We need to learn skills. Get a head in life, you know? That's all we're clicking. Of course, we're still looking for doors. Because optimally, you want to uh, find doors and end your level on multiples of four. Because each time you advance a level. So let's say next turn, I'll start on three. And uh, if you start on three, you can only see at most two maps. Because once you hit four, you can't see anymore. So ideally, we, we find the door. Because each time you open the door, you also get 50 points back. We didn't find it. And this did not give us any action points back. So that's also unfortunate. We're going to leave five points unused and leave the map as that. We're going to jump in at three next time. That's also fine. Um, we don't have any traits yet. Uh, we don't have enough. Oh, here's our traits. Oh, we actually learned both traits. Okay, so the traits work like this. When you schedule yourself for skills and studies, um, you have a chance to learn a trait associated with each of those um, events. In this case, Crawl gave us a stubborn snail and Professional Drummer comes from Clap to Music. What are these traits used for? Well, there's a thing called face battle that will come up as well as talent shows. You can show off your traits. You basically learn something from that skill. And once you learn once, uh, they last for a set amount of turns. Some are skills that will stick with you for life. Some will only stick with you when you're a kid. Like you're not going to show off your crawling skill once you're, you know, in elementary school or middle school. So that's why there's a little shorter timer on it. And this is a trait gallery of all the ones you might not have earned. Uh, in this case, you know, if we're going for the final achievement in the game, that's learn all the traits. This is something we're interested in. Um, each tr new trait, when you learn it for the very first time, you get one of these passive boosts, which is why we have such high passive boosts, because we have 309 skills unlocked. 
uh, traits unlocked, 88.03%. Uh, um, all the ones that are not in question marks are the ones we have learned. Uh, you can see what uh, we need to do to earn new ones. In this case, all we're really interested in is picking up high quality traits because there's different tiers uh, to these traits and the higher quality they are, the more we can get out of them. So we'll see a different color shading once we get a different quality. Right now, these are both common traits. We are going to set up our schedule and we're not going to do these anymore. We're going to look at some of the new ones we have. So we can do walk. So it's basically an upgraded version of crawl, a little bit less charm, a little bit extra constitution. It's a trade off if you want, you know, stronger body. Not really. I prefer the charm. Learn to speak. No more charm, but a lot of face. So face is not shown here, but it's on the bottom here. There's no growth. Face is used to request things from your parents. Face is a Asian concept of kind of a family reputation. Like your face is what people see, right? So the more reputable you are, the more things you can get. Uh, you know, you can lose face. That's like a common saying. I don't know. I am still kind of inclined to just boost our charm because we need a lot of charm to become a famous singer and every turn counts so maybe a few of these just for the face points and then more crawling learn to speak fun means you can eat random stuff but you can't say random things technically luan being translated as random is probably wrong it's like you can eat like wrong stuff right you can eat all sorts of stuff but you can't say whatever you want to say, right? Luan Shuo here means saying stuff that's inappropriate. Basically, mind your tack. You got some free action back. That's always good to see. And just keep crawling. Battle over toys. This is our random event here. Popular toy often cause strife among children, but they also get outdated ridiculously soon. Lost some imagination here, which is actually bad because singers use a lot of imagination. Good points. Always looking for hugs. You love being in a warm embrace and begin swimming, uh, squ uh, screaming as soon as you are set down. No need to take care of me. I'm doing fine. That's kind of opposite of, of this looking for hug business. Hmm. Mom's baby. You learn how to say mommy. Not crying for attention will save you quite a bit of energy. Oh, so we can, we can summon her. Mama, this is always same, like the tones off. Same as Baba, this is Mama. Guai guai guai, Laila Laila. It's like, oh, good girl, I'm coming. My imagination got those points back. Continue to crawl. No action points back. Only 130 this time. Somersaults on the table. I believe somersault actually gives a good trait. We're gonna try to grab that. Young girls should study well and learn as many skills as they can so they can marry a good husband. You don't want to marry a man like your father. Just look at how my life has turned out. <laughs> Alright, we are supposed to learn skills, which we are. This one's minimum. Grab that. This one's also minimum cost. We'll grab that as well. Mom, give you a box of chocolate share with your classmate because your actions, your classmates all really like you. You understand the world a little better, a little bribery. You know, makes the world go around. We didn't pick up any new traits. Not guaranteed. That's why trait collection is a pain because you could be trying it every single turn and you just don't get it. And um, no goals, no nothing. So mind map it is. So we know there's a limited number. We definitely want to get the door. We don't want to be stuck on one, two, three, four, one every turn. That's like terrible. So I'm going to try to pick up as much area as we can please please give us a door there we go we found it so once we found the door there's no rush right i know i'm gonna get a four we can't get to five so i'm gonna pick up a couple of knowledge and then go it's a free leave and you also get 50 back and here i'm not even gonna try i just want knowledge there we go that's all we can do very happy with that because we advance to five next turn and we schedule and we clear the table somersault gives us face and constitution it just gives a really good trait so that's why we're gonna try it i believe it gives a little trait it's been a while since i played this but i, I somehow remember this 
baby swim and like yoga gives really good trait early on uh, we still are interested in charm but since we learned that trait already we're gonna do the be friendly one and get five points instead yep that looks good to me somersault practicing on a bed very safe action points good all right who is your favorite dad takes your side and asks whether you like him more or mom who does the same oh mom also does the same okay dosi huan like them both that's true and we also want them both toys mom lets you pick one or two toys but you grab both in a death grip it says sell hides has what so only little kids make a choice or pick one uh, this is often said uh when picking between two things as an adult you know uh, often used uh for girls uh, for a guy picking between two girls just as an online saying though so. iq memory wild destruction you try to destroy everything in sight which drives your dad crazy but you don't care at all losing the charm hurts we have no control over these random ones we need tons of charm like thousands of charm um somersault still going be friendly practice practice being friendly we're not really friendly we're just practicing and uh, mood management see we're, we're practicing not to be angry and remember knowledge requires to learn a skill changes with your stat yep we know this and this one needs a thousand points of eq and constitution combined or maybe together well we're not there yet we're close Maybe both need to be a thousand. Uh, constitution will take a while, but there's no rush. Still no goals. We have to check if we get trait. So here we go. We got the somersault trait. You see that this one's epic. Now, right now, you don't feel there's any difference, but once we get to something called face battle, something called talent show, you'll see how good this is. So we, we did it. We got what we came for. And obviously, the more rare it is, the harder it is to get it when you trigger it. So that we got pretty lucky picking it up on our first try even though we did do it four times. We have also what's called a choice. So these are random event you get once every few turns. Uh, we're two year old now. That's the first choice event. Let's see what it is. Mom puts you in front of a mirror. And this is the first time you see yourself and that's when you decided to, okay. They are correct choices and incorrect choices. We have played the game enough to kind of know what the correct choice here is and we don't want to be creepy here with ask this in the suspicious voice who are you we're going to scream out loud scream loudly is actually what we want so it feels kind of weird that this is an optimal choice but you'll see your dad rolls on the ground laughing then takes up his phone and records a video and share it with his friend charm plus 25. now obviously sometimes the choices can be like two negative one neutral or like two positive one bad and you can decide what the good stat you want like in this case i really want to charm so i picked this one um, i think you can also wave to the mirror and also get a pretty decent one um, but this is what we went for and uh we go on do our mind map and we see a new type of fragment uh the talent fragment so these will uh cost a bit more to click i believe i think these will cost wait they don't cost 10 action i think they cost 15 action i think that's a typo yeah 15 action that's right so normal tiles cost 10 these cost 15 and what they do is they give the passive gain a one point increase so obviously the earlier you get these in the turns the more value you get out of them so clicking on this now it would be worth 44 points of memory for us throughout this entire uh, run and if you get like 10 of these i believe one of those points will be added on for the next generation as well so i think there's a positive effect in the long run as well um but we're gonna try it you know it's good uh but it also has to kind of play into the fact that we want to open up more pages of the map even though we have very little action here 20 points so maybe just two action two yeah like, do we want to gamble on there being a door here? Or maybe here? Mm, Fail that gamble. Only got three points of constitution for it. So not a good trade-off. Now, of course, we could do more things to get more action back. But right now, I'm just trying to load up on certain things. Oh, uh, we are good. Let's hit that schedule. So right now, we don't have much to do. 
because we're still young. Uh, we can always buy new things to do and also there's going to be stores once we start getting allowances. Right now we're just not at that stage. We picked up traits for this, this, and this, so we want to do these three. Walk actually gives quite a bit of charm. Be friendly also. Learn to speak doesn't really give charm, so we're going to not learn to speak. We're just going to be really good at walking and being friendly. Practice walking. Action back, that's what we need to see. Sleeping pill. Dad can't take your constant wailing and wants to give you a sleeping pill, but mom intervenes. Good for mom, but the damage already done. In public, you start crying your heart out at the supermarket, but mom just keeps on picking groceries. She has learned to ignore us. We lost charm. This has been a bad random event. And this repeat of the picking toys, at least positive stats. Walking, walking, be friendly, be friendly, be friendly. And let's see if any of that resulted in a trait pickup. Nope. You see, sometimes we just don't get it. So that's pretty lucky right there. This is minimum. I'm going to grab that. 50 charm that comes with it. You throw a tantrum because mom didn't hold you, but she still ignores you. You howl until you're tired, whereupon she teaches you not to be so willful. You understand that your mom's trying to say you try not to throw tantrums anymore. Oh, if only it was that easy. Alright. We want to find doors. So, with our limited number of points, oh, 30 points, maybe we click on these two. Oh, there's also random fragments. Uh, they cost 10. It could be anything. I'm not willing to take that risk. All right, that's all we can do. Right now, our action's really low. So, let's schedule again. We picked up mood management. It gives a lot of charm, so all the way through. We're also old enough to play on the seesaw, which will give us action back, but I don't really care. We don't have to advance very far on the mind map, we just want the charm points. And we became a kindergarten kid. We grew up, so new artwork. Mood management, practicing good mood management. Trilema, meo, it's like, have you ate? Nope, but saying it in a really good tone. Oh, no, 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 I thought it was trilema. So are you angry? Nope. Making faces, you learn to make face all on your own, but dad tells you to never roll your eyes again. <laughs> that's a that's a face to, to, to learn. Maybe we learned it from mom. Dad can't help but laugh when you fall down, which makes you cry even harder. Pretty much what happened when we screamed in the mirror. To the countryside, you have a great time with dad and granny at the countryside and are curious about everything and the mosquitoes have a wonderful time too. It's like, bro, this meat is so tender because we're so young. There goes our charm and constitution. A good imagination boost. Splendid. That's actually splendid because we have, we're going to max out. All right, baby yoga is a great one. Painting class, communications. Okay. And we have our first face battle. Uh, don't lose your temper. That's our new expectation. Uh, reward, action, knowledge, IQ, EQ. So action will give us points. A relative is coming to visit us soon. Behave yourself and don't make me lose face. What's face? When you're out, when you outperform others and show off your superiority, you save face. Otherwise, you lose face. So basically, win. Right? Okay. So these are minimum. Now, the green ones represent a career path. Um, you can take other career path for their rewards, like imagination points and so forth. And then when the game will actually ask you twice uh, at different stages of your life what you want to be when you grow up. And you can kind of request which of the career paths you want to pick. So feel free to grab them if you're interested. Uh, you get dialogue and special interactions based on uh, which career path you go to. Each career path has special NPCs that will talk to you. Uh, these are all minimum, so we're just going to grab them. We didn't pick up anything. Surprised. And this is our backup if we want extra action. Basically, that's how you will use it. Seven turns of having some extra backup. And you will need those backup, you know, when you're so close to a level where you can move on to like the next um, level. So here, we definitely want to see the next level because it's a multiple of four or else we just will be stuck next turn. So, okay, once we get this, we can go ham. Hmm. 
Are we low on anything? Constitution. But I don't see any constitution here. I guess both IQ and memory could use a little help. And then we move. And then doesn't really matter what we click. Uh, I don't want to gamble on that. In case we don't get another one, then the multiple we lose like five, basically. There we go. And we don't need to use that. Save it for emergencies. Um, and then we're just going to try out our face battle with our only three traits. We have only these three as our ammo. So let's go. So see, now the rarity gives points. Right? How much points you can use in a phase duel. Right now we can do a total of 35 damage. And this is our relative. So this is the health. It's a very simple game. You know, you talk trash about each other and uh, you talk trash back. There's five turns, so you can use up to five different traits. We only have three, but we have more health in them. So we're going to win. We're going to talk about how we can crawl like a perpetual machine. They're going to flaunt that they went out and travel. We're going to talk about how we can play the drum and has even been on national TV. Mom's making stuff up. Well, the kid can wave. So what? We can do some results. Mom is just bragging. It's just basically a bragging battle, you know? But you have to have substance behind the brag. And once you don't, you just are helpless for a few turns. But there's no way she can knock us to... Um, this level. The level they have is how much damage they can do to you. So they can only do 31 to you, we will be at um, 69 health at the end of this, which is where we are at. And we'll beat her by having more health. And the health difference will be how much face points we have. So we gain 44 face. Now, we still don't know how to use that face points. It's not at that stage yet. We're still just a little baby and we're going to schedule our day. Now I mentioned baby yoga gives a good trait and also good charm, so we're just gonna spam it all day. Now paint class gives a good imagination. Don't care. Baby yoga all day. Flexibility queen. Bonus action. Very good. Really cute. You kiss a classmate's cheek and the grown up all smile will say how cute you two are. Well the little boys like sexual assault. Uh, but we do get charm. Star tomorrow, you try to dress up like movie star with a quilt, your mom's scarf, and her makeup. Qi Dong Qiang. Oh, this is, um, um, she's a, a skit actress in China. Um, but anyways, we're, we're doing a skit. And uh, imagination, charm, good. The action's even better. Charm is great. More trips to the countryside to, you know, let the mosquito have a feast, go for it. But the action will take. Oh, there we go. We're going to be max action, no problem. Oh, we don't even need the extra 50. We have a couple of new skills. Now, pinion. So, I will talk about that after mom gets done. I'll get you anything you want as long as you behave. When your parents are satisfied with you, they will give you a chance to re fulfill your wishes. If there's anything you want, head to request under events. So, this is the first time we can request stuff. There's going to be more things unlocked as we grow older. There's going to be satisfaction bars. There's going to be... Uh, stress bars. We have some new events, but we're going to end our episode here. Uh, we also want to talk about Pinyin. Pinyin is one of the study routes. It's set up for testing, and uh, this is obviously related to Chinese. Pinyin is how you spell Chinese by sound. Uh, uses the English alphabet, uh, not the full alphabet, and also the alphabet sound is different from how you would speak it in English. So that's why when you see some of the pinyin spellings, you might not sound how you think it sound because this follows a different set of rules. Uh, but we'll come back to the game and we'll continue to grow up here when Nyo Nyo, things are going pretty great. Uh, we have an event uh, that probably has to do with the painting class we took because each time we advance in a career path, we talk to some sort of NPC and we're gonna get our first report card from kindergarten. So come back for that and see you guys next time. Bye.